Good morning, 47. We have a lead on the shadow client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Hello, hello. Welcome to Colorado. Today we're going to take care of about five challenges, which include Scorch Earth, Moan Down, Bouncing Betty, and Carpet Bombing. Those are the individual challenges, and if you get all four of them, you'll get the perfect alibi challenge, which is essentially kill all four targets with accident kills, which is what we're going to do. So right off the bat, what we want to do is get a setup done for the second kill. So that w which will be Sean Rose. And for this, we're going to need some nitroglycerin. So over here, turn off this generator. That's going to get that enforcer over there to come and investigate. And leave his post unattended, which is where we'll find some nitroglycerin. There is some more somewhere else. Uh, I believe it's in the little shed where Ezra Berg goes. But we've got the nitro now. So that's the second kill all ready to go. Or well, we're prepared for. Now to set up for the first kill. Now, don't even attempt to silent assassin run for this. You can distract this guy out of the way and that, but you have to get it all timed right and that. So that. Maya comes along before he comes back or you can just drop a car on him, Give him hell, bro. like that so that's him out of the way that's essentially the first kill now all ready to go once they clear up this body here I'm gonna give him a few minutes here to clear up stop the panicking and that so what we're going to do for this first kill, which is Maya Pav 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 Pavarotti, Pavarotti, saying like that anyway. Uh, we're going to kill her for the Scorched Earth challenge by setting her on fire. Now where that guy who I crossed with the car was standing just before he came over to the car, uh, he was having a fag, but it's right next to a giant oil drum which I will point out to you. There's Maya just to my left there. You see her there. Now unfortunately, if she's walking past here, we've just kind of missed her on her cycle. But here's the oil drum. So you want to shoot the nozzle. And that's that. Uh, I've, I've looked for many places where you can plug yourself up for this. And this is probably the best place. There, you can take the shot from a couple of places. This is probably the best one for not being spotted. Now, like I said, we just missed uh, Maya on her way through her cycle, so we're gonna have to wait for her to come back round again. As you can see, we are running at ludicrous speed. 
and she still takes a little while. Basically, she's going through her uh, her assault test with her crew. As you can see, that's Sean Rose coming over to join them for a quick chat. And Rose will leave, and she will leave shortly after. Uh, Ro there goes Rose. So here comes Maya now. So all you got to do for this one is basically wait for her to step into the puddle of oil or fuel or whatever it is. Shoot the, the oil. She goes up in flames. And there's your first accident kill. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. And if you manage to do that without killing the mechanic, you're on for a silent assassin run. So I'm going to come through all of the here. It's just the, the quicker, easier way. Avoiding all the chaos that's going to happen or going on behind me. So you want to come over to this little tent area here. And place your nitroglycerin. Now there isn't a forcer just to the right there. But if you time it right, you can easily get in and out without him spotting you. Now I was going to stand here and um, wait for... Sean Rose to come back and do his explosives test um, but it is still a little bit far away you know you can't really see too clearly what's going on so I noticed that the enforcers moved away which means Rose must be getting close he must be on his way over now so I quickly run over here it is slightly closer but not by much so all we've got to do now is wait for Rose to make his way over to the explosives testing area. That's him there, just walking up to the red safe. He's going to place the explosives and conduct a test. And there you go, that's Sean Rose down. Sean Rose confirmed down. Nicely done, 47. And that's your second accident kill. So now we're going to move on. And this time we're going to take out Ezra Berg, also with an explosion. And for this one, all you've got to do really, that's Penelope, that's our fourth target. Yeah, for all you've got to do for this one is come round and we're going to shoot the petrol tank on the lawnmower for the mown down challenge so we want the elite military outfit so that we can get in and out of the house area without being bothered and you want to shoot just above the back wheel there that's where the petrol tank is put your gun away really quickly and we're just going to wait here now for Ezra Berg to turn up and have a cigarette and when he puts his cigarette out he'll regret smoking for the rest of his short life so he should be making his way out of the basement and towards me now for coming in from the left there he comes I can see his shadow So he's having his cigarette now. He's going to blow himself to kingdom come. There he goes. There's your third accident kill. Uh, as usual, I'm going to plug myself up. Let all the panic calm down a little bit. So we've got three targets down, all with accident kills. All so far so good for Silent Assassin Run if you want to do it. If you've managed to get rid of the mechanic without killing him. That's just too much effort for me. After all these guys are all bad guys so theoretically I should sweep through and kill everybody. But we'll get to that video another time. 
So everything seems to be just getting ready to calm down now. So I'm going to keep running at double speed for the rest of this little bit here. So I'm going to might have to talk a little bit faster. So the, they're all starting to stand down, so it's time to make our move. We're going to go up, go to the lawnmower, pick up the basement key and everything else. You kleptomaniac Anubis. Bowl in the front doors, walk around the server. We want to trigger that conversation and wait for it to finish and then we're going to take out the cameras which are just on the desk just out of sight at the moment this conversation doesn't take very long the guy should bugger off any second now there he goes the other guy turns his back to you so all you got to do take out the cameras there you go sorted now if you still want to do this silent assassin run, this server here is a good way to get one of the hackers down from upstairs by turning that off and creating a, a distraction. And then you can quickly run upstairs and trigger the 3D printer and things like that. I'm going to go for a slightly different tactic, as I know I ain't going to get the silent assassin rating for this one. So there's no point getting a score at all really or no aim at getting a score. So I'm thinking, okay, there's five guys up here, or there's six guys up here really, but only five I really need to worry about. That's these two here because they're just in the bloody way. Because this is a nice little room for hiding bodies. And you are its inaugural guests. So what we're doing now is waiting for the enforcer who patrols around on the top floor to come back this way, which he's just about coming into view. He sees the bodies, and the last thing he sees is your bullet coming at him. So we're going to pull his body just out of view. So that's three down, two more to go, and that's the two hackers in here. Like I said, you can distract one of them, avoid the enforcer, and get the 3D mask if you want. But I have a gun and they're unarmed. So logically they're in the way. So what we've done now, we've eliminated everyone. We're gonna activate the 3D printer, collect the mask of Sean Rose. And for some reason, all of a sudden I'm feeling kind of tidy. So I'm going to pull both these bodies behind this desk over here. So now I'm all set up ready for the final kill. And the way we're going to kill Penelope is by dropping a chandelier on her head. And then all we've got to do is make our way down into the basement and exit. So I've got the shot all lined up. Now while we were doing all this, Penelope was actually downstairs at one point, so we have literally just sort of missed her. And then once again we're having to wait for her to cycle all the way around and come back to the house. Just like we did with Maya. And almost with uh, Sean Rose as well. Luckily, we've, once we place the nitrogen, the enforcer I mentioned actually contacts Rose and calls him over so we ain't waiting quite as long for him. So Maya's just entered into the house. She should be just walking under the chandelier. Oh no, no, wait, I can see her now. She's just on the map now, coming into the house. So now she's under the chandelier. She stops at the clock, so you've got a little bit of time she doesn't just walk straight past it and there's your fourth and final accident kill and that will get you the carpet bombing challenge and if you manage to get accident kills on all four targets that will get you the perfect alibi challenge so five challenges in one hit and once again just waiting for all the panic to calm down 
And then we're going to make our way down into the basement. So here we go. Going to come to the basement door, unlock the basement door with a key we took from where Ezra body, uh, Ezra's body was left. There is one guy down here, he is an enforcer as well, but he's very easy to get past. As you can see there, just distract him out of the way and then walk straight up to the ID scanner. And now we're safe, we're home free. So we've just got to go over, check the uh, wall of crazy as I once heard it called. And the computer and make our way to the exit. So there you go, five challenges in one mission. I've been Agent Anubis and I'll see you all in the next video.